Hey everybody, Sean Malloy, your Central North Carolina Whitetail Properties Land Specialist, and I hope you're doing well. Hey, out here at our farm at Patriots Landing, and uh, going to give you kind of an update of what's happening. We're in the, the new one acre food plot here, and I'm going to take you around and show you. I came out here the other day, and my fruit trees were being attacked, not by critters, but by insects. Um, it seemed like the leaves are succulent enough, and these uh, Japanese beetles are just feasting on them and uh, had to do something so I went out and got a couple Japanese beetle traps and put them out and uh, I mean within minutes not even a minute of hanging it I had one in the trap already so we're gonna go over here and see how many uh, we've captured and uh, and hopefully we'll attract them to the trap and uh, they'll come off the trees a little bit but they were doing some damage and I think they may have killed one persimmon tree, so I'm not too happy about it. So let's go over here and check out the trap and see what we got. Well, all right, here's our trap. Uh, like I said, I put it up yesterday. And then just uh, one full day, we've got probably a hundred or so in there. They're desperately trying to get out of the bottom of this bag, but uh, it's doing its job. I'm gonna go around and check the trees now and just see how they're looking. and see if we might need to relocate this uh, trap to another part uh, a little closer to the trees i don't want it too close to attract them and then they get light on the trees so um, we want them to come over here hit the yellow fan fall into the the bag and uh, call it a day so sometimes you got to trap critters on your property and then sometimes you got to trap some insects so right now we're trapping insects and we look like we're doing a pretty good job. Let's go look at the trees. Okay, so looked at those trees. Uh, they still had a lot of beetles on them. Some uh, powder seven dust, and I'll come up here and sprinkle them on the leaves, and uh, that should help eradicate the problem. So we'll keep the traps up. Uh, they're good for all season, and we'll just let those things rock and then we'll start with some uh, pesticides. So that's what the next treatment is. But uh, before I let you go, we're gonna go over to a half acre field. It's got the same problems. And we're gonna check that trap over there and see what our results are. So come with me there. Driving in, I could see uh, some damage on this chestnut tree here. And the beetles are all over it. I'm sure the rest of my trees are the same. I'm what used to be green leaves sticking out of the top of these tubes now all brown and got holes in them but man look at that trap i just put this trap out yesterday evening and this thing is half full that that tells you how many beetles here and how much damage they're doing this is crazy so i just put these uh, traps on a camera mount and it held it up pretty fine but would you look at how many beetles are in here I mean, this is uh, <laughs> unbelievable for 24 hours. And this is really closer to the trees than the ones on the other plot. So that tells me I need to go back and, and put that other trap closer to the trees to be more effective. Because uh, this one's rocking, and this is exactly what I wanted. That's amazing. That's good stuff right there. So when you uh, make the investment to plant trees on your property, you know, you need to protect those trees, especially their first few years. And these trees that I'm checking out were planted this past winter. Uh, they need all the help they can get, whether it's water, fertilizer, uh, weed control, critter control, and now insect control. So make sure you get out there and check your trees, protect your investment. My course of action now uh, moving forward is I'm gonna buy a couple more traps. Uh, I'm gonna put them closer to my fruit trees to draw those insects in so we get the same results as we get, we're get getting out of this uh, trap here. I'm gonna get some uh, seven dust and dust all my trees. And I'll probably continue to do that through the summer until the beetle situation kind of subsides. Uh, so that's my course of action and I'll uh, keep you updated as we go. So get out there, 
protect your investment, protect your fruit trees, plan for the future, and uh, you're going to have a great whitetail property. So thank you for joining me at Patriot's Landing, and as usual, I will see you in the field. Take care. We'll see you later.